notice um, I uh, went and ate at a vegan restaurant. Not that I want to be vegan, but I did. Uh yes. Hi, guys. Mama Sita here. I am trying something new. Yes, you see it. You see it. Swordfish. Yes, I am doing it. I'm trying something new. I have tried swordfish before. So I'm going to try it again. It's been a very long time. So I think I'm going to try it. This is by Fresh uh, Swordfish Steaks, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really have a brand on here, unfortunately. But uh, uh, supposedly it is heart healthy. I am on this heart health kick right now. I'm just hoping I can keep it up. I am going to incorporate um, these Argentina um, red shrimp. I know shrimps are not really good for your cholesterol and things like that, but I, I took these out yesterday, guys, so I'm going to make these and just get them out the way, and then I probably won't even eat. I might chop it up in a salad or whatever. So, but yeah, if you are interested in seeing how this meal is going to turn out, then stay with me. Okay, guys, welcome to Mama Sita's journey. I am Mama Sita. Welcome. Welcome back. If you are returning, welcome. If you are a new, hey, hey, hey. Anyway, guys, today is going to be just a little a minimalistic video in regards to healthy eating. I am really trying to incorporate healthy foods in my diet, you know, after you turn a certain age, period, you gotta get it, keep it right. So, anyway guys, I am making four fish and um, some red, uh, something spicy shrimp through the bag away. <laughs> anyway guys, if you are new, welcome. Come on over, talk to Mama C to tell me what's up, what you doing, how you doing, what your family doing, what, what everybody doing. You know, this channel is about pretty much everything, um, whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm feeling that day, that's what my channel is about. But basically, um, the channel is like vlogs, um, mini vlogs, not a lot of vlogs, travel, um, not too much travel, but we're getting to the travel. Uh, fashion for sure and a uh, law of attraction so yeah if that's something that you might be interested in then keep on watching wait for this food though okay guys you guys see i've been cleaning today this has been a clean clean day but i want to show you some of the things that i have incorporated into my diet far as um trying to i will be lowering Okay, guys. I, I got it. Anyway, I ain't even gonna go there right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was going to, as I was truly interrupted by people slamming doors. Anyway, um, I want to show you what um, I, you know, have that, you know, that I'm going to do to incorporate to get my cholesterol down because it is pretty high. I'm 4'11". I shouldn't have a high cholesterol. I don't eat the worst, but I do. Uh, I am at that age where cholesterol is um, harder to uh, control. Also, if you drink alcohol, and I do, I have, you know, a couple of drinks here and there, you know, damn, can't okay, have no fun. So anyway, that I have to limit um, far as um, a lot of alcohol is concerned. Um, red wine, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I have my chia seeds. This is good, guys, for anything. You can put this on yogurt. You can put it on your cereal, on anything you want. You barely can even taste it on salads or whatever. It's endless. Um, if you just have to have bread, I'm not a big bread person anymore. I have, um, I'm, you know, I'm starting to, you know, eat a lot of tuna. So instead of eating the regular bread, I'm doing this 21 grain bread. 
grain bread is very healthy for you this one and it's pretty pricey this was like five bucks guys eating healthy is expensive like for real you know that's why so many people die of heart attacks because they don't or just any other diseases because they don't um Okay, guys, you know, hold on. I think I got something going on up in here. Okay, so the wind is very windy for whatever reason. So anyway, guys, I have, I've been eating apricots. You can see they're almost gone. I've been um, putting them in my uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, allegedly, that is um, another um, resource that you can do to lower your cholesterol or just something healthy, guys. It's not really about my cholesterol is just encouraging others to as well to um start uh incorporating foods now in your diet i don't care how old you are how young you are you still need to incorporate good foods stuff that's going to cleanse your blood and things like that yeah you can turn up and all of that and that's you know i know you guys probably say i got time for that you know trust me time creeps up on you and uh yeah so anyway guys i have oranges I've incorporated oranges. I've incorporated almonds as well. Apples. Um, lentils are really good. I made lentil soup, which was delicious. Okay, so beans are very good as well. So, guys, hey, comment down below if you're trying to go on a healthy, uh, you know, tip or if you're trying to incorporate good foods or what you're trying to do. You know, are you trying to live long or are you trying to go out? So, what, 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 what you gonna do? Uh, I'm just asking. I, hey, this is an open forum, baby. So anyway, guys, let's get this swordfish going and let's see what this meal is gonna be. I've just been putting just good foods together and just seeing what it do, period. Okay, guys, I've never made swordfish before, so I'm just gonna do my little due diligence on what I do for our seasoning, which is you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but I will show you as I um, prepare this um, swordfish. So this is actually a lemon. I'm just gonna um, drizzle a little lemon juice on here. And then I'm going to take kosher salt. I always use kosher salt. I don't really like sea salt at all. So um, I don't really cook with sea salt, our regular iodine salt. I think that's how you say it, you know, so for good luck. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little bit of garlic, you know, gotta always use a little garlic. Okay. That's for that side. I'm going to use a little bit of black ground pepper. I gotta find a really good ground pepper to, to incorporate. Uh, and then these are some red pepper flakes. I heard that the red pepper flakes on this one would be really, really good. So uh, let's see what it do. It's a lot of red pepper flakes. You know, I get carried away, guys, with the seasoning. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over and do the other side the same. Oh, well, you know what? We can just put it in a pan and flip it. Okay, guys, I am adding olive oil to this pan, and I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit. I, like I said, I've never, and I'm just gonna really grill it because I'm gonna put this piece of fish and bake it into the oven. So I'm gonna let this get a little hot. It has been hot due to the shrimp. I kind of burnt the shrimp, guys. And like I said, I'm not even really trying to eat shrimp. I just kind of made these because I, uh, went and bought all this stuff in the refrigerator and I want I really want to show you guys my freezer it had a whole bunch of just nothing guys don't buy all this uh packaged food it's unhealthy for you I mean just be minimalistic with it do not buy a whole bunch of um packaged food I made my first tomato sauce for my spaghetti on my own by scratch and when i tell you it was so much better than ragu and prego and all those other sauces i will never 
buy those again like if it's an emergency and i just need to do it right away possibly but i prefer to make my own sauce much better let's get this four fish in the pan Okay guys, so this is um, the grill. I could have grilled it a little longer, but I wanted to bake in the oven. So I'm going to add some broccoli um, florets to uh, this dish. And I'm just gonna put them right in, in, the, um, in the pan here because I found out it's so much easier just to bake it with all your other stuff and it'll be just fine and these are frozen from trader joe's the organic one i prefer the to have the um you know the fresh ones but this will do hopefully it'll give you the same health benefits so this is what it's looking like and we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 and i have to google to see how long i'm supposed to leave it in so let's see Okay guys, so while the uh, swordfish is baking in the oven, it said to, I told you guys 350, but I Googled it and it said to put it on 400 and bake it for about 10 minutes. And I guess when you see the fish turning white and kind of getting kind of layery, flaky, like you know how fish has that flaky um, part just to, I guess it's done after that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to pop on here and uh, just kind of go over the reason why I'm um, incorporating healthy um, stuff in my diet. I still have bad habits, guys. I do. Bad habits are always hard to break, but I am trying to incorporate better habits, okay? So um, I would like you guys to go on this journey with me because, you know, health is most definitely wealth. You gotta have um, a healthy uh, mental and physical to just get through this life alone. So I am, you know, uh, incorporating um, better eating as far as getting, lowering my cholesterol because it is pretty high. It's not um, crazy, 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 but it's high enough that, you know, I need to really take precaution about it. So, um, you know, in the midst of doing that, so once again, I'm incorporating um, apples are good, oranges, garlic. If I'm walking around here smelling like garlic, then y'all know Cheryl's over here. Mama Sita's over here doing her thing. So, um, but yeah, um, I've been eating my cereal in the morning times, just getting more exercise in just Wanting to live better, guys. That's really what it's all about, is having a healthy lifestyle. And it really starts with the mental, like I always say. And then, you know, you can incorporate, you know, anything else after you get your mind right. So, so yeah, guys, that's kind of, you know, kind of what I'm doing pretty much, you know. So, let me know if that's something that you've been trying to uh, incorporate. Something, you know, a healthier lifestyle. Have you been trying to uh, eat better? Are you getting more rest? Are you not blowing up at the top of, you know, you know, for every little thing? It's not that serious. So comment down below. Let me know. Let's talk about it, guys. I would really love for you guys to really engage with me more 
and you know ask me questions and things like that i am working on a p.o box um, in regards to a few uh, requests so i am working on that just you know time it's just all about the timing so anyway guys let's check on 10 minutes for the swordfish i'm gonna come back we're gonna chit chat a little more about um how to you know be better do better you know uh uh if you you look good you feel good that's all you know it's that's what it's about feeling good and looking good and and being a positive um energy because we we are all energy so let's get back to it Also, guys, uh, if you don't know, a fun fact about me, I am a muncher. I People know I don't eat a lot of food, but I do munch. Like at nighttime, I want it something sweet, like some little cookies, uh, Mama Sita's cookies, you know? So um, I'm trying to incorporate better snacks. And even though I am gonna have my cookies here and there, but I did notice um, I uh, went and ate at a vegan restaurant. Not that I want to be vegan, but I did. And I think I posted it on my um, channel as well. Um, the burger was actually really, really good. And it kind of opened my mind to say like, hey, I could do this at home too, because I like eating fresh too. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a clean eater, believe it or not. But eating clean requires a lot of prepping and work and things like that so you got to get out of your head and you know um and and just really say you know what i'd rather eat clean than opposed to go to burger king or chick-fil-a you know not that you can't do those things periodically but having that kind of stuff all the time trust and believe as you get older it is going to catch up with you. And then some people can eat all this junk and, and live to 110 years old and be okay. Everybody ain't the same. So you do what's best for your body and what you feel like is going to make you a better person. And I do feel like um, I'm, I'm doing this for myself because I really wanna see if um, holistic medicine, I used to work for a holistic doctor some years ago and she was very well into holistic medicine and I really and, and she you know if that holistic wasn't um, an option or wasn't working you know she did go with uh, she was a medical doctor as well but she did go with um, regular uh, treatments and things like that um, but yeah I feel like if you um, you, you got to change your mental because that that's the first start and if this is good then everything is good honestly because it doesn't matter what's going on in your life you are able to deal with um not having any money or deal with a, a travesty even though a travesty is always bad on every occasion no one wants to experience that but um i do feel like if you find peace within your yourself that you will be able to um make moves in life and be able to deal with this life moving forward because we have to be able to deal with this life if we if god woke us up then there's no need to go around being depressed what kind of energy is that and why are you putting out that type of energy it's like it's not even it's not even worth doing guys it really isn't i try to get up every morning and i i try to be grateful i try to be thankful even if i'm having a struggling to you know for my day to start or whatever um you can't even be mad about when you wake up what you mad about you should be grateful that you woke up so yeah um like i said my channel is about law of attraction i believe whatever you speak will manifest whatever you think will manifest whatever you write down will manifest you have to believe it if you want a better life you want a healthier life you want a, a better financial life believe it believe that it's already happening for you and just just be happy and humble in the midst of believing and it's like 
it, it's like guys if you put yourself in a, a state of mind where you just feeling like man i i am the luckiest i am the most blessed person in the world and just put yourself in that feeling and not take the money out of it just take it if you don't have any the money that you would like to have take that out and just think of just feeling good just feel that i mean like take deep breath and let it go <laughs> anyway guys let me check on my swore fish so i can eat me some healthy food and you can see what i'm eating so you can start eating some healthy food too okay period okay guys this is the finished product and it looks pretty good smells pretty good so the final test is what it tastes like so let's see okay guys i just put a little bit on my plate because i'm really not that hungry it's only 202 i don't never really eat this early um but i do want to try it on camera to let you know how it tastes Pretty good. I added the secret sauce on here and some sriracha. <laughs> I don't do hot sauce anymore. Okay. I think I could do that. I think I can incorporate this fish. It's expensive, guys. This fish was like, but that filet was like $14. Okay. I feel like I'm getting more and more expensive for my health. But you can't be cheap. You can't be cheap on yourself. You really can't. Your health is important, guys. Start incorporating some of these good meals. If you're struggling with like high blood pressure, you know, do something about it. Don't just let it get bad. You know, you can still have your stuff, guys. Do something about it because it's not it's going to get worse it's not going to get any better because if you're constantly you know if you know you're putting fried chicken in you know every three or four days a week then you know that come on come on come on people nice little broccoli healthy antioxidants let's get healthy for 2022 okay period so yeah okay guys so comment down below okay and let me know if you are going to um, try to start eating a little more healthier and not stopping at these fast food restaurants, start making your meals at home. They taste better anyway. If you do eat out, you know, try to opt out for more healthier choices as far as you know, like salads, all this stuff. I'm telling you guys, it's just not good. And after I read up, I didn't even really think, and, and I worked in the medical field for a very long time. And I just didn't realize how bad, bad cholesterol is. Like literally, if you read up on it, it'll make you say, oh, like if it's over 200, then your cholesterol is high pretty much. So we're going to do something about it. We're working together. This is a community of growth. So, hey, we're going to do that. And, uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button so you won't miss out on any videos that I put out. I'm going to finish eating my meal. And um, I'm going to edit this video. And, yeah, I'm prepping for my vacation. So, I need to cleanse so i can eat what i need to eat but even when i go on my vacation i don't even want to eat all that stuff anymore i just don't i feel better i feel lighter that i'm not putting all that guard my head is clear i i, I do i feel like i could tell the the foods that you eat really have an effect on you you just don't know it until you stop eating them i'm not trying to be a vegan i don't like to put labels on what I'm doing. I just try to change, you know, my lifestyle and things like that. So anyway, guys, I am out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. And yeah, I will see you guys what 
what, what, what at the next video. Period. Bye.